proceed to contingency table means you may use basic concept in probability and basic terms in probability using contingency table. Okay, where is contingency table? So this table known as cross tabulation table means it will summarize a group by means of distinct categories according to the respective characteristics. The number within the table represent the frequency or number of individuals within each pair of sub categories and so the contingency table allows the interaction between these two categories. Focus on first example. GH Corporation has recently conducted a survey to obtain a gender and age profile of customer of its new brand of laptops. 200 purchasers were selected where 80 were female. 60 are males and under 30 years old, 50 are over 45 years old and 10 of them are females. A total of 30 females is between 30 to 45 years old. Present the data in a contingency table. So direct, you need to construct contingency table. So how to construct the table? First, gender male and female second variable is age which is three different categories below 30 30 to 45 and over 45 when you construct contingency table you need to calculate total for each row and each column okay next first information 200 purchases so means this is a grand total 200 next information 80 were female so total female is 80 next 60 are male and under 30 years old so this one is what n means intersection between two variables so 60 here below 30 and male purchasers okay next information is 50 are over 45 years old so this one total number of purchasers who is over 45 years old is 50 and 10 of them are females okay last information a total of 30 females so 30 females between 30 to 45 years old okay 30 right there okay next fill in the blanks first 120 means 200 minus 80 so you got 120 next 40 how 80 minus 10 minus 30 so you got 40 next 40 50 minus 10 next 100 60 plus 40 next 50 means 200 minus 50 minus 100 so you got 50 and last one 20 50 minus 30 so you got 20 okay that's how to construct contingency table proceed to second example the sales manager of a gh computer shop recorded the sales of 250 units of computers in a particular month of those 250 units sold 150 units belong to model a of which 30 units were sold with 15 inch monitor 35 units of model b were sold with 15 inch monitors the rest of the units were sold with 17 inch monitor present the information in a contingency table so you need to construct contingency table two variable of interest first is model a and b second variable is monitor in inch two 
types of monitor which is 15 inch monitor and 17 inch monitor next total total for a row and column first information is grand total which is 250 units sold so from the information 150 belongs to model a and then out of 150 30 were sold with 15 inch next information is 35 units of model b so model b here this row were sold with 15 inch monitor so 35 is here next information the rest of the units were sold with 17 inch monitor so first calculate total for 15 inch monitor which is you got 65 next you may calculate the computer sold with 17 inch monitor which is 185 monitors okay next fill in the blanks 165 and last is 120 when you calculate for each group and each column make sure the grand total equal to 250 each row and each column make sure equal to 250 okay next from the contingency table let's say you need to find the number of units sold with model b and a 17 inch monitor so the keyword here is and means intersection between model b and 17 inch monitor so here intersection point so the answer is 65 units okay now we proceed to example 3 a statistics class consists of 10 male and 20 female students two of the male students and four of the female students are bumi putra present the information in a contingency table means you need to construct contingency table okay so what is the variable based on the study so first variable is gender male and female second variable is status of bumi putra either yes or no next don't forget to calculate total for each row and each column okay next what is the information so first information is 10 male so 10 male second information is 20 female so total for male and total for female next information two of the male students are bumi putra okay so status is yes next information is four of the female are bumi putra so total for bumi putra students in that class is six total for student is 30 next 16 and last one is 8 okay now let's say a student is randomly selected find the probability of selecting a male student given that the student is a non bumi putra so here you need to find probability based on the contingency table given the sample size so from the question two different keyword or two different variable which is male and non bumi putra and another hint or keyword is the word given so you need to use conditional probability recall back a means what you need to find b is the information based on the word given or if okay next when you need to calculate probability 
if the data given in sample size recall back basic concept of probability. Okay, next. Substitute A and B. So, what is A? Male. B is status is non-bumi putra. Next, you need to find probability male intersect non-bumi putra. So, male and then intersection of non-bumi putra. So, sample size is 8 students. Second is probability. Total number of students is based on non-bumi putra, which is 24. Okay. So, 8 over 30. Why 30? Back to basic concept. Sample space or total sample size, which is 30. So, 8 over 30 divided by 24 over 30. So, you got 1 over 3. Okay, so that's how to solve the question based on contingency table. Okay, example 4. 200 adults are classified by gender and education level. The probability for each category of gender and education level is shown as below. Okay, so this one, contingency table, but the figure here is in probability form. The value 0 0.190, 0 0.140, so that one is in probability form, means in between 0 to 1. When you add up all the values, make sure all the values equal to 1. Next, don't forget. When you have contingency table, calculate total for each row and total for each column. Okay, here, exactly one probability concept. Let's say if a person is selected at random, find the probability that the person attain a secondary level education. So here, Secondary level education, the answer is based on total. So, what is the total? 0 0.390. Second question, find the probability that the person is a female and attain a college level education. So, this one is what and means intersection between female and college level education so intersection is 0 0.085 next question find the probability that the person attain an element level education given that the person is a male so two different variable which is elementary and male and then the other word is given so you must use conditional probability what you need to find is a what is the information is b so e given m intersection between e and m so e here m here. So, intersection is 0 0.190. Next, M means male students. So, total is 0 0.440. So, the answer is 19 over 44. Easy. If the question or the contingency table is already given in probability form. You may try on your own first question and check the answer. And second question. Also, you may check the answer. Okay, that's all for contingency table. Assalamualaikum and bye.